real and this is all on the internet. Oh. And also dinosaurs never went extinct. Technology truly has gone too far. Hey gang, back in the knife lab today. We're looking at two steels that I'd never heard of before I before I uh, got these mules. We're at CTS B seventy P and CTS B seventy five P. So we're going to do B seventy P first. This is a powder metal. So um, the other one is not. The other one's a micro melt, and um, which is just slightly different ways of um, well, not slightly, but just different ways of making a nice even grain structure. So we're looking at. In this one, 1.1% carbon, 1% vanadium, 14% chromium, 2% moly, and then trace amounts of manganese. Bit of niobium in this one, um, only like a quarter of a percent, but it's something I suppose niobium's a, uh, a different type of uh, form of uh, carbides as well. So uh, they are um, apparently sort of very hard as well, similar to vanadium, but smaller. So, uh, <laughs> You come here for the results, not for the not for the steel talk. I, I hope. Um, so yeah, we've uh, put a 17 degree mirror polished edge on the Spyderker mule that is made on it. Interestingly, the um, mules are largely the same. However, these two are actually a little bit different. The blade on the B70P is a bit longer, and also it's um, a little bit thicker as well. So it's a uh, yeah, just a bit of a bit of a different one. Which one was thicker? Yes. Yeah, this one's thicker, the B70. And one's made in Taiwan and one's made in gold, and so I guess that's the mule series for you. They're all a bit different, just slightly in terms of where they're made, what steels they are, but they're all trying to be the same pattern, which is why they're such good uh, comparative pieces. But anyway, that being said, these are um, yeah, a little tiny bit different to each other. Uh, now, we're going to cut rope, twisted sisal rope, until the knives no longer slice into a held sheet of paper. All right, yeah. Just the rope. They've both been taken to a 17 degree mirror polish finish, which is a very sharp edge, and um, using the KME system to 0.1 microns. So yeah, this should be an interesting test to see how different these two are and what kind of steels they are entirely. Are they like S30V level or are they 154CM level? Who knows? Uh, let's have a look by doing some rope cutting. Let's go. Already 450 on the B70P. That felt like it had a really long uh, period from when it was starting to feel a bit rough to but still kind of do the cut. Uh, much longer than usual. Usually it's much kind of quicker instead of just oh and it's dull. That one from about 350 felt like it would not have surprised me if it had stopped at any point from there on. So cool, I guess. Like maybe it's a more stable or more. I don't know. <laughs> That's the number. 450 on the B70P. Alright, let's see how B75P does. Now this is a little slightly different than the recipe. I'll put the, put the um, different recipe on the screen now because it's a, um, so this is a micro melt for a start, so different way of putting it together. Um, and yeah, there's no niobium in this one. A little bit more carbon, an extra quarter of a percent of vanadium. A little bit extra chromium and double the molly. So it's actually quite a different recipe. I just sort of just was very dismissive at first, being like, oh, they're almost the same, but yeah, there should be enough in here for it to be a different kind of performance. So um, let's see how this one does.
in here drastically different to the, um, the well not drastically, is 125 less than the B70P is the B75P stopping at 325 and that was really, um, that was, I was feeling it from like a definite edge reduction from about the 250 line so um, you know of course these are just two little tests um, but you know it's the same pattern, I'm the same person, I don't care which one of these is better or worse but um, it's definitely stopped a fair way short from having as far as I could help pretty much an identical edge to the other steel so it's probably for a different application or has a different strength or weaknesses you know remember edge retention against rope is a very specific thing to judge a whole steel on so um, but yeah this is uh, the lowest of the mule so far I do believe is this then um, 52100 which isn't even a powder steel so this is um, micro melt the 52100 is just like old-fashioned ingot steel and um, then it was a LC200 I think at 350 out of the mules so, I mean, none of those are bad results, but it's just uh, interesting that this is yeah, so much lower than, or a fair, a fair degree lower than the, uh, than the B75P. So, there you go. Um, so that's these two done. Um, I'm getting these out as quick as I can. Um, I, <laughs> I alluded before on Instagram, it's the, the trickiest part's making the intro, so I don't know, because I do realize the intro is probably just as much of the enjoyment for some folks. Um, and what else? Yeah, so I'm making these as quick as I can. There's a, still got a few more mules to get through. Uh, M4, still, still M4 and Maximet. Um, still PSF 27, I believe, as well. Maybe I'm missing, forgetting about one or two others as well. So, uh, And then I'll be having a well-needed break, uh, apart from a couple of little incidental ones that I'm sure I'll do. So, uh, That's B70 and B75P from Carpenter Steel. Hope you've enjoyed, dudes. See you in the next one. Goodbye.